easy cherry bread recipe. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags. Twelve. Hello, everyone. First thing you're going to do is take two jars of maraschino cherries, 10 ounces each, and drain them. Make sure you save that maraschino cherry liquid. Then chop up the cherries into small pieces and set that aside. Now in a large bowl, you're going to place three quarters of a cup of white granulated sugar, half a cup of oil, one half cup of milk, and a teaspoon of either vanilla extract or almond extract, and one egg. And then blend that together. Now for the dry ingredients, you need two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, Give that a stir and then that's going to go into the wet ingredients. Blend that together until just combined and then you're going to fold in those cherries that you chopped up and they're nicely drained. Fold them in and as you fold them in some of the color from the maraschino cherry will transfer to the batter and it'll make it a nice little pink color. Put it into a greased loaf pan and bake it at 350 for about 50 or 55 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Let it cool. Now for the glaze, two cups of powdered sugar, third of a cup of that maraschino cherry juice that you reserved, two tablespoons of melted butter, and give it a stir until it's smooth. And then you're going to drizzle this over the cooled cake. I put it on a little rack on top of a plate and I just poured the glaze, all of the glaze right over top and just let it drip down the sides. I did take a spatula and I evened off the sides a bit just to make sure that the entire loaf was covered by the glaze. And then just let it sit there for an hour or two and the glaze will harden up a little bit so it'll be dry to the touch and it won't be sticky when you try to pick it up to slice it. Now even though this is called cherry bread, it is really more of a cherry cake, but it is a good one. And be sure to use that glaze because it really does make this cake better. Now at this point in the video, I usually try to recommend a recipe that's similar to the one I just made that I've done on my channel. And when I did a search for cherry, I realized I have a whole pile of recipes that have cherry in them. So I created a playlist. So if you love cherry flavor, you're gonna love this playlist. Check it out, it'll be here on your screen or in the description box below.